Welcome to a new video by DJS PRC. Today we have the Axial Gladiator and we do have the SCX10 3 and the SCX10 2 with us. But mainly we're going to talk about this guy here. Uh, it's not been on the market for that long. Getting great reviews from other guy, other YouTubers out there. And I wanted to take the time and be able to show you guys. Let's open the box and see what's inside. But again, just before we do this, this is the RTR version. It comes with a Spectrum DX3 2.4 tra transmitter. It has the Spectrum uh, Firma 40 amp smart brushes for a channel ESC receiver built in. It does have lights. Comes with a 35 turn motor, uh, high pinion gears, and extended frame rails. That's one of the things I want to compare it with the, uh, these guys here. And it has portal axles on it too. Let's open it here. Uh, confirm on which side it is. Yeah. And we have the, the remote right here. On the remote itself, you do have the thumb control. That way you can physically drive and be able to turn left and right. That I do like. And what's fun about the Respectrum remotes with the smart battery technology that has, you have an indicator on the remote itself what left on your battery. That's one thing I do like very much. But again, if you're an experienced crawler, 35 turn motor with a uh, 35 turn motor with uh, let's say a 5000, uh, you know you're crawling roughly for at least an hour. <clears throat> and we have the truck right there. Gotta cut those tie wraps off. and get this bad boy out of his box. There we go. Now, in the bottom of this, you do have your manual and the extra spare parts they give you with it and also the batteries for the remote are in there there we have the gladiator SCX10 take the SCX10 3 um, yeah chassis it does have a bed in the back Try to bring it a little bit closer to you guys just to see, give you a closer look at it. You do have the bed and it's starting to roll cage. This looks a little bit flimsy, but the sides is uh, hard if you do flip it. That way you will protect a little bit of your roof. 
You do have door handles, you have mirrors, rock sliders. Nice bumper, but no winch, but winch, but uh, uh, <laughs> hitch, should I say. Wow. We do have our wipers, front bumpers again, with the LEDs. Let's remove the cover and see what's inside. Now, a lot of people love this system of the body clips. You don't see them on top of the body. They're underneath here. Personally, I'm not a big fan yet. Sometimes they're hard to remove. <clears throat> and if you're in a rush, that's yeah but again that's my opinion now on the body itself inside you do have an interior and when you're removing your body you have to be careful because it has plugs for the leds the rear and front and i forgot to mention here there's red and there's white. And the reason there is two colors is there is two colors for the outputs here on the ESC itself. That way you don't mix your front and rear together. At the end of the day, if you do, it's not major, it's the same voltage. We have the Firma speed control, the all-in-one unit. At least they give you some extra port to be able to plug in other accessories if you wanted to. We do have the, uh, the dig. And this one has the two speed, but the two speed is not installed. It goes right here and the arms right here. Detail motor, the spectrum servo, place to put a battery here or a smaller battery here. And on the day, it's a nice vehicle, has the portals, aluminum links that comes with it that I do like. But let's take the body off the SCX-10 3 here. And let's, let's compare it with it a bit. Now this guy here is the kit version. It has no electronics. Again, it has the same body clip system there underneath here. There's just not on it right now. Remove it, you have an interior similar to the Gladiator again. And I'll be honest with you. Same cartoon or character inside. <clears throat> if we put them side by side here, Interior wise, they are identical. It's the same transmission, same gear diff, but gear diff, but transfer case, should I say? Uh, same motor. Pretty, it's the only difference is one's longer than the other one. And I'll try to grab both of them at the same time. Be able to show you. The other difference is the rock sliders are different on both. One's tubular, one's flat. Like a step side uh, kind of a step. And you notice that both tires are pretty much equal in front. And you see the difference of link. Now, some people are saying it is a longer chassis. 
but I heard that it's just an extension. And let's see if I can confirm that right now. No, it's a full extended chassis. It's not an extension, should I say? Chassis rail comes up to the back. That I do like. The rumors I was hearing is basically it was stopping to here, and then it's just an extension to give it the longer wheelbase compared of the uh, S Extend 3. Now, <clears throat> if we take the SC Extend 2 now, fortunately I don't have an SC Extend 1 with me. Now this one, I do have 3D, 3D printed interior in it. But again, if we compare, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Let's do it this way. Be able to see it. If I take this guy here, put it pretty much equal. Grab this guy here, pretty much equal not sure if you can really see it here longer same wheelbase this guy and this guy they're same wheelbase but they are built differently completely portal axle portal axle no portal axle pretty much normal axles <laughs> <clears throat> If you compare the interior, the exterior of this guy here underneath. Now this is again the kit version that I built. Uh, aluminum links. The physical axles itself, they're plastic. If you compare it to this guy here. Aluminum links. Uh, no, these are steel links. These are aluminum. Uh, pretty much the same axle housing or pumpkin, should I say. Uh, I just, the rest is a little bit different because of the portals on this guy. <clears throat> At the end of the day, they're both all great machines. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend any of these machines here. If you have your chance to get a deal on an ACX-102, Go ahead or just do the jump to an xx 10 3 of the portals we get a lot more ground clearance less issue of hitting stuff things like that and totally worth it and what's fun compare of the old xx 10 2 to the new xx 10 3 dig and the two speed don't have it on that vehicle here they do have it on these vehicles. I uh, did not try them yet out, but I heard they're awesome. Uh, a couple of my uh, local YouTubers here have uh, done reviews and even test runs of them. They love it. Now I just need to go get out there and have fun with it. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It does help. And hit that bell notification in the corner to let, not to let you, notify you next time I upload a video. Uh, and thank you for watching.